does Sergio Maravilla Martinez deserve to be in the Boxing Hall of Fame? I think he does, no doubt. I think he should be there 100% in the Hall of Fame when he retires. Um, he's not retiring, apparently. And uh, he, uh, I think when, you, when you're a fighter, though, and you've lost like that, I think you have to come back for one more fight. But if he retired now, it, it would be good, too, because he has nothing more to prove. But I understand if you're a fighter, though, you don't want to go out like that. And, uh, but back to the, is he Hall of Fame worthy? Back to that. Like, uh, years ago, when he was in his prime, pretty much after the Julio C up until the Julio Cesar Chavez fight, after that fight, uh, you, like he was just he was he was dominating the guys he beat in the challenges he faced like the best in his division he faced really guy really good guys like if you look at Julio Cesar Chavez Jr was undefeated huge guy way bigger than Martinez um he beat Mar Matthew Macklin a yeah, good fighter good record though Matthew Macklin was 28 and 3 he beat Darren Barker when he was undefeated. He beat um, uh, Dezin Zurich when he was 37-0. He beat Paul Williams. He knocked him out a knockout of the year. Paul Williams was considered, considered one of the best fighters. 39-1. Um, Kelly Pavlik he beat. Kelly Pavlik was 36-1. and one. Uh, and uh, you could argue that he beat Paul Williams the first time. Then you had Kermit Clint Clintron, 30-2. and two. You had Alex Burnham, Burnham, 30 and 5. And then after that, pretty much, they were just, pretty much, if you look at all those names I just listed, he beat all those guys. And the guy was just a superior athlete, very athletic. Um, he definitely deserves to be in the Hall of Fame especially if you consider other guys that are in the Hall of Fame, and they're nowhere near to Sergio Martinez's credentials. But aside from that, he deserves it. He, he faced the best in his division, and he was, he, was the, he was the middleweight champion for a while. And you can't... He, he dominated, and the way he did it, very athletic and very skillful. He, he was exciting to watch, high energy. You can't take that away from him. He definitely deserves it to be in the Hall of Fame. He's definitely, you, cons could, you could consider him the best Argentine fighter ever. And, uh, yeah, so I, he, in my opinion, definitely he has to be there in the Hall of Fame. Uh, just because he, he beat, look, like, look at the guys he beat. And he faced everyone. He wasn't, he never ducked anyone. And the way he did it, he, like the way he knocked out Paul Williams, very dramatic fashion. And this is style, very pleasing, high energy, just superior athletic ability he had. You gotta, I got to put him in Hall of Fame for sure. One of my favorite fighters. And uh, his style is one of my favorite, watching him. Up until the Julio Caesar, Caesar, Julio Caesar Chavez Jr., he was just dominating and he was very good. Um, but, uh, yeah, we all know what happened against Miguel, Miguel Cotto, Miguel Cotto dominating him, knocking him out, but Sergio's legs, he had so many surgeries, knee surgeries, shoulder surgeries, uh, definitely his, he didn't have his legs in that fight. Hold on one second, hold on. Hey! Sorry about that, but um, the defeat to Malgo Cotto doesn't really um, stain his legacy. Miguel Cotto's an elite fighter too, a Hall of Famer too. And Sergio just wasn't in his prime. And against Martin Murray, he showed that. I thought he lost that fight. He just uh, wasn't, he, his legs and all the injuries and surgeries, he, can't, he just can't uh, keep up. He can't do it anymore. He's getting old too. He's what is he? He's like uh, 37 years old. 
so, or no, he's 39 years old, so definitely he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, though. Should he keep on fighting? Um, I don't think I don't think he really needs to, but like I said, if you're a fighter, you don't want to go out like that, losing like that. So maybe uh, one more fight just to see, but if he loses the next fight, he should he should be done completely. But if he wins the next fight, and it and he doesn't look that good doing it, he should still retire. If he looks very good in winning his next fight, then maybe continue. But he has nothing else more to prove. His promoter uh, Lou DeBella says he might come back no earlier than December, but probably early 2015 against a solid opponent. He won't be facing no Stooge either, but he won't be facing any King Kong, he says. So he'll be facing a decent opponent when he comes back. Sergio has made up his mind. He wants to continue his career. And uh, definitely uh, Sergio did get a concussion from that Cotto fight. But uh, Lou DeBella says Mar Martinez, he's a big boy. He knows what he's doing. He's self-aware. And uh, we're going to put him... Uh, we're going to put him against some his next opponent. If he doesn't look good, then maybe we'll have to consider, consider him retiring. So, um, anyway, uh, yeah, DeBella says he has a chance to prove that it was an off night against Kodo, and uh, we're going to put him in with someone who can get him off him in the line for a title shot again and see where he goes from there. But... All I got to say is I have no problem with him fighting again uh, to see what he has left, but I wouldn't have no problem if he retired right now. So definitely one of the greatest fighters of this decade, um, and uh, he's uh, one of the probably the greatest Argentina teen fighter. He has a lot of spirit. He's a true warrior. His style is very pleasing, and... Uh, He's definitely a Hall of Famer. So, yeah, if you like my video, subscribe. Thanks for watching.